I got people. All right, so I end up getting this damn Ford truck, pain in the butt. I hate buying freaking cars. Um, so I do like the the combination lock, which is kind of nice to where I can get in my car. I don't want to do the combination because it's secret. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I like about this and I don't like versus the Toyota. When I got my Toyota, a lot of things were distant. It's got some nice lights on it, LED lights on the side here. Um, the lights around here are pretty, kind of like you can see it. Uh, the grill is okay. I mean, whatever. I'm, I'm not... I do like the wheels a little bit better than my other one. My other one was a lot harder to clean. It had... I like wheels that you can clean easy and kind of wipe down, and they're smooth. Mine had a lot of design and BS in it, and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So I like the wheels better. Uh, I like the steps on my Toyota better because they came out further. I mean, these are okay. And I can get up on it, but the other ones came out a little bit farther. So I did like the, uh, the door seems lighter than the Toyota. Um, I don't know if they're using different gauge or whatever. So I think the Toyota was built with a little bit heavier metal. Um, the back seat, I think in the Toyota was bigger. Uh, I like the fact that the back seat, uh, my, my Toyota pulled up. And that was good. It's got a little smaller ear. I had an extended thing, but this is big enough to hold what I need to hold underneath there. Um, uh, this seat doesn't fold down, but the other one does. It's got a uh, plug-in back here. I mean, I'm not sure what the hell I'm plugging in back here, but it's got a plug back here. Uh, it's got a USB plug for charging, and then it's got a cigarette. So it's definitely got more back here. This has cushions on both sides on the Toyota and only had it on that side. The seat, the seats I think in the Toyota are firmer and looks like they'll hold up better. These seats tend to be cheaper, I think. Toyota had a nice big center light. This one doesn't. It's got the, uh, the little side lights in the back, which the Toyota I don't think did have, and it's got the front lights. Uh, door handles, no big deal, lock, etc. Uh, this has, the Ford has automatic uh, windows up and down. So when it's one push and it goes up and one push it goes down. Toyota didn't have that. They've got some new kind of fancy, supposedly, it almost looks like, I don't know what the hell it looks like. You can see it. But they call it this new, I don't know. I'll zoom in over there and see if it comes in at a better angle maybe. They just said it's some new Thing, whatever. I don't know what the hell it is. There's still a plastic sheet over that. I haven't pulled that off. <laughs> but anyway, uh, floor mats seems okay. It's got the regular floor mats and it's got some good rubber ones, which I kind of like that that came uh, with it. It's got auto seats on both sides. This is the XLT. Um, I haven't tried the four-wheel drive yet. Don't know how it locks in. Um, Gas tank, I like the old freaking screw-on gas tank. Ford has this piece of shit freaking little push thing that I just do not like. It works great because you don't have to forget the cap. You can't lose it if you're an idiot. But uh, if you try to put a regular, if you have to use a gas can to put gas in here, it's a pain in the ass. You can't do it. You have to have an adapter. Now, they give you the adapter, but when you need it, you better be able to find it. So the adapter looks like, well, shit. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> See, I already lost it. Freaking, I ain't even used it yet. I lost it. That's the problem with that damn tank. If you're stuck somewhere and you don't have that adapter, you can't put gas out of a tank. Uh, I don't know what the hell this means, FX4. I, I, I don't need that shit, but whatever. Um, the tailgate's kind of cool. Instead of having a handle, it's got a button right here that you push, and it opens automatically. So I can open it with a key or not a key. Uh, it didn't come with a bed liner. I'd ask them to add that. Um, which, um, Toyota's came with a bed liner. So, um, but I got to admit, it's a pretty kind of heavy duty looking bed line. Um, so I kind of like that. Uh, it's got hooks here. I don't know what the hell these hooks are for. Maybe if I wanted to put something over the tailgate, that's kind of nice. Toyota didn't have that. Toyota had the hooks in here like this, the little tie downs and the four. Ford has this nice, uh, 110 plug here which is kind of nice um so if i need to plug something in back here i can uh 
It doesn't have a rear window. I like the Toyota because the whole window rolled down. I didn't use it much, but when I used it, it was nice. If I had to stick something long in a front seat, I could poke it out the back window. This doesn't have a back window at all. A lot of them just make noise and leak anyway. It's not a big deal. I would have liked it. Ford has a little side window that is automatic. You can open and close it automatically, and that's an option. But it's it's not a big deal. I mean, it'd be nice because I use it if I needed it. But other than that, um, I got underneath. I don't know if this one's higher. It seems like I can see more under the Ford than I could in the Toyota. So I don't know if it's higher or not because I haven't hooked it up to my horse trailer yet. So I may have to get another hitch because your I, my horse trailer has to be level when it's hooked up. So I'll have to look at that and, and figure that out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this side just flips up also. Here's where the plug uh, little transformer or power unit is, I guess. Or maybe for the radio. My jack is back there. So this side flips up, but it also flips down, which I really like. So I can have access back here. So I might be able to mount some sort of holder back here. Um, and, uh, oh, here's a little plug right there. That's what you got to have if you're stuck somewhere. At least they made a nice place for it. So, and then there's your jack. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Again, I haven't... You want to know how much I've driven this car? <laughs> he dropped it off. I met him at the, at the car out there. I gave him my Toyota, and he gave me the Ford, and then I drove it to here. So that's how much I've... I've had it for three days now, and I haven't gone anywhere or driven it yet. Um, I do like this. This So you have your glove box here, which is okay. Uh, the Toyota's is, is a lot bigger glove box. However, they have this little secret thing here that it may not even look like it opens, but you got a little button here, which is cool because that's going to be my gun. Rick, you shouldn't tell people that now. Look, you freaking idiots. I'm tired of hiding from everybody. Well, what happens? Oh, look, so I'll definitely be keeping a gun in there because that's, I don't think everybody will know if, say, breaking your car, it doesn't look like, you know, that button opens this. I may even put something over this so the button is concealed. Uh, it's got a little tray here, which is okay. And, uh, the two cup holder here, two cup holder here, thing here, USB plug there. Ford was really into the 12 volt, <laughs> the uh, little plug there for 110. So I've got it front seat, back seat, and in the tailgate. Um, I don't know what the hell that is. It's got a little thing up here. This is a little bit smaller. I kept a little 22 Magnum in my Toyota in this thing. I don't know if this is going to hold it or not. Uh, and that's it. So, uh, this looks like pro trailer and there's a four wheel drive. So I'll hook up the trailer and see how that is. I think it's got a towing capacity with the V8 of, uh, I thought it said 13,000 pounds. Uh, and again, my horse trailer is only 35. Uh, the, of course the guy that showed me a car didn't show me any of this. This is everything I found. You want to know what the guy that sold me the car showed me? Man, you got a nice big screen, and it's got all this cool uh, electronic stuff. That that's that's the extent of it. He didn't he couldn't even answer anything any of my questions. So anyway, I'll do that when I when I'm trashing uh, Ford later. So we take a look at the engine here. I like the way uh, Toyota's hook was better. Their hook is down here at the bottom, and you kind of got to reach in, kind of pull it up. Toyota's was just you slide your hand through, you hit it, and it kind of pushed like that. So I liked Toyota's release better. Uh, looks like it's got a pretty big freaking air tank right here. So it should be getting good air. Um, air filters here, same. Uh, lots of plastic, lots of... Uh, I think the Toyota... I just like the way the Japanese cars or the old Japanese cars... Hell, I don't know where the hell cars are made now. But they just seem neater and more things are in place. I did notice I had a lot more room in between the engine and the front there. It looks like there's a, a pretty big gap there. So at least I can probably get my hand or something in there. Um, this has, I don't know what the, the dashboard was on the other ones, but it, I couldn't see it like the silver one in the back. So the heat shield, I don't know if that's just a heat shield or if it's a sound heat shield also. It's going to probably reduce sound. 
I kind of looked at this and the whole damn, this is like the whole radiator. Uh, I don't even see the coils or anything. It's like, it's just a little plastic reservoir there. I don't know if that's like the reserve. I mean, I, it's got a plastic and plastic. I'm kind of like, man, how can this thing handle the hot flow? But evidently it does. I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh, that's the V8 engine with, I think, 395 or 400 horsepower. Um, I did not see that on my Toyota, uh, that linkage for the steering wheel. This one, you can kind of see it right there. Hi, little mocat. Where are you going, boy? <laughs> what are you doing? It's like, Dad, where's this new truck? What happened to my old truck? Uh, so anyway, that's, uh, that's it. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull these off and put some goop on there because I don't, it's not treated. I don't want it rusting. So, um, I usually will do that. Fuel, uh, the, the fuses are here, which are really kind of hard to get to. And even if you get to them to pull one out, it's like, freak, are you kidding me? So, I mean, getting into the fuse box is not what I would call an easy task under any circumstance. Uh, these look like they're, they, these harnesses look like they connect pretty easy. Um, and that's about it. Um, so I said I would go over it. That's, that's all I know about it so far. I, and the computer, I mean, it, it does a lot of this hood also, I have to slam it. Whereas the Toyota, I could shut it and it was, I, you didn't have to slam it. You got to slam this hood. Uh, so I like the way my Toyota hood closes. So I be like, man, you're complaining about, look, I'm just telling you the difference between the things I like and I don't like. Um, and then I thought this thing kicked on when I opened the door. So that comes on there. This comes on here. I don't know. It'll probably start. Let me see if I can start it. The keys inside the house. So you got to put your foot on the brake. Of course, the guy didn't tell me that. He's like, just push the button. I'm pushing it and pushing it. He goes, you got your foot on the brake? I go, no, do I have to? Well, yeah. I'm like, oh, thanks. Freaking idiot. Anyway, so you push it. No key detected. Oh, so it won't start. Okay. So the key's inside the house and it won't start. Uh, all right. I guess we'll end up there. Does it have lights on here? No, no lights. The Toyota has lights when you open this up. Good job, Ford. Wait, wait, to, wait to chance on every little thing. Uh, this thing right here that opens up, Ford gave you a little tray. Toyota didn't give me any tray. So it's got the normal size junk drawer in there. I like this underneath here. There's a little, I don't know why that comes out, but there's a little hidden thing underneath there, which is kind of nice. So uh, I like that. I wonder if it'll fit. Yeah. I like little hideaway places. I wish this opened. Uh, also, there's a key to here so I can lock this. Uh, you could not lock the Toyotas. So you can lock this and this. And if there's a little key in there. Looks like that. And that's also a little key that pulls out of your uh, your key remote thing. Oh, also, this has remote start, which my Toyota did not have, which I don't really use. I had it on my other Ford. Uh, shit, it's already got some sort of crap on it right there. Uh, all righty. That's it. So that's my recap on uh, the Ford. All right. So everybody that's asking, did you get it? Um, what did I end up paying? Um, I financed for three years. I didn't put anything down and it's 650 bucks for three years. So that's what I paid. Um, and I got ripped off because they freaking tried to hide 4,000, but I'll cover that when I'm trashing five star Ford. Anyway, that's the, uh, four truck. We'll end it there.